Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to find the volume and surface area of cubes and cuboids. Coming up. Jason has built a 2 metre box to store compost in his garden. Please help Jason to find the total volume of compost it can store and the total surface area in order to paint it for weatherproofing. Now in order for us to find the volume, we need the length, the width, and the height of this cube. Now since it's a two meter cube, the length is two meters, the width is two meters, and of course, the height is two meters. Two meters times by two meters times by two meters, and that gives us eight meters cubed, okay? Make sure to, uh, no, m times m times m gives us m cubed. So a total volume of eight cubic meters. Now, in order to calculate the surface area, we need to consider the net of this cube. So as I open up the net of the cube, you can see that there's six faces. Since it's a cube, all the edges are the same length. So we have six equal faces. To calculate the total surface area, we need to find the area of each face and add them together. So here you can see I've opened up the net of the cube. We have a length of two meters. We have a width of two meters and we have a height of two meters. Now, let me just mark off all. In fact, all the lengths, all the edges are the same length because of this two meter cube. So in order to work out the first face, I'm going to be doing area equals 2 meters times 2 meters, which gives me 4 meters squared. 2 times 2 is 4, m times m is m squared, 4 meters squared. Now, each face is 4 meters squared, so the cube has 6 equal faces, which basically means I'm going to add up all of these, which are all 4 meters squared. So 6 times 4 meters squared gives me 24 meters squared. So the cube's total surface area is 24 meters squared. Jason has decided to use a cube with the following dimensions because he figures he's got too much compost for the, for the cube. Length 4 meters, width 2 meters and height 2 meters in order to store more compost. Help Jason to find the total volume and the surface area of this cuboid. To calculate the volume of the cuboid we need of course the length, the width and the height. Now, we know from the question that we have a length of 4 meters, we have a width of 2 meters, and we have a height of 2 meters. So in order to find out the volume, we need to do 4 meters times by 2 meters times by 2 meters, which gives us a total of 16 meters cubed. In addition to finding the volume, Jason wants us to find the surface area. And in order to find the surface area, we need to draw the net of the shape. So you can see from the net of this cuboid, you have four lateral surfaces, the top and the bottom, so six faces in total. So ignoring the cuboid in the middle, you've got six faces from the net. Now in order to find the total surface area, we need to calculate the area of each face. So we know we have a length of four meters, a width of two meters and a height of two meters. So all of these are two meters. They all represent the height of the cuboid. All of these are two meters. They represent the width of the cuboid. And, and, the, and the red markings represent the length of the cuboid. So the first surface area, four meters times two meters gives us eight meters squared. You could notice that all of these have the same dimensions. So, so you have eight meters squared there. You have eight meters squared again here. And then you've got your final eight meters squared in this part. Now the two wings or the, these two sides of the net you have two by two which is four meters squared and again four meters squared on this side. Now we need to add up all of the faces to find the total surface area. So the total surface area of this cuboid is 40 meters squared. Jason needs to buy enough weatherproofing or paint for a coverage of 40 square meters. 
If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like and subscribe. Make sure you watch part two and three of the playlist where I show you how to work out the surface area and volume of a prism and cylinder. See you in the next one.